You have to stop this, Kara! Why? For once it's not hurting anybody. Yes, it is! Maybe if you were sober more often, you'd see how it hurts me and Frisk and Robin Dad! And... And... It's hurting you too, Kara! If you don't stop, Yola... You're... How what? I'll poison myself! <laughs> Has he? I... You know what? Fine. Do whatever you want. I've got a stream to get back to. Hey, does Azrael tend to the flowers in his spare time like his paps did? And, much more importantly, does he still have tea? Indeed I do. I'd feel terrible if I didn't. It feels almost like tradition. And of course I have tea. <laughs> Can't survive the day without it. What's your favorite memory growing up? Well, growing up, I remember back when the day would come to an end. After dinner was said and done, we would sit by the fireplace and relax. Mom would read me stories or books on interesting facts. <laughs> and then I would fall asleep in the middle of them. And then Dad would... <sighs> Sorry. Dad would carry me to my bed to rest. <laughs> Great memories they were. <laughs> no, no worries at all. Azrael just has a, a petal in his eye. I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not a sappy person, okay? That was just really important. <laughs> you gotta be serious at some times, right? Right, yeah. Fine. Can you at least pass me the TV remote? Take it. Oh shit. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Damn it, Pap. I only have folks on US pipes. I'm an adorable muffin and adorable marshmallow. Why, hello there, friend! <laughs> Man, do we have a siren we can turn on? Yes. There'll be no crawling on my back. No sin repellent. Mr. Jam, I'm in a precious, adorable child that needs to be protected. Be waiting for Shoot him! Don't worry, I'm a lot of bullets. Give me that! Oh my god, you're gross. Good. Now give me your biggest war cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're gonna get, man. <laughs> it's hideous. Oh, look at all the stars. I'm a precious child that this person loves. <laughs> Whoa. Shit. Hey, cadet there, friend. Uh, that's not appropriate. Let the beat drop like people with polio. That's actually really fucked up. Mike, when was the pizzeria on fire? I saw a centipede. That's it. <laughs> Protect Papa! This is the most precious thing ever! Ugh. Well, I would, but I'm too lazy to even care right now. Pfft, I wouldn't... Lol. Listen to that thing. Destroy the black creatures instead. I'm a damn black creature. That's racist. Well, you guys, that's it for now. I apologize so, so much that this wasn't a major comic or a confirmation like, um, PJ's Daycare or anything. Um... But next week, definitely for sure. It's just this week I haven't been having a good week. So, yeah, I apologize for that. But thank you for tuning in. Next week for sure, another video will be out. Now, thank you so much. Bye. Dating is easy, Papyrus. Just beat him up. Like a bunch. Nah, well, that would be hurting them. Isn't that wrong? 
<laughs> advice? Um, don't do anything ever. Eventually you die, so... Then it won't be fun because it won't really be a date if you don't do anything. Oh, darling. Gorgeous. All you need is a demonstration. <laughs> a demonstration? Wowie, you're really willing to, to, to teach me? Yes, darling. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope, bye. Not happening. Nuh-uh. The bone zone is closed. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know that type of demonstration. It involves your asshole. For the love of God, you better let me do it. You have started an ass blog. Excitedly thinking of what your first question might be fills you with determination. I'm Frisk, a human. I'm friends with a lot of monsters and currently acting as their ambassador. Don't be afraid to ask me questions. It's kind of my job to answer questions about monsters now. Also, if you have a question for someone I know, I'll bring the question to them. Frisk, a mod of this Ask blog. Congrats, human. You've started an Ask blog. You've gained one follower. Thank you. Please don't be shy about asking questions. This blog was made to help humans understand monsters better. But if you happen to be a monster who's just very curious about me and my friends, that's fine too. Monsters are scary. Why'd you bring them up here? Ah. Uh, hmm. Because it was wrong for humans to lock them away, and they deserve freedom and happiness like anyone else. I understand why some of you might be scared of them, but I assure you, there's nothing to be afraid of. And monsters aren't scary. They're cute. I was lying for all you on the surface. It's wonderful! All of us live in this big, beautiful house. We built it brand new. Nobody had any money humans would accept when they left the underground, and a lot of humans refused to sell homes to monsters, so it's been hard. But all of us pooled our money and built this place. Now me, Mom, Zans, Papyrus, Undyne, Alphys, King Asgore, and Flowey all live here together. It's not perfect up on the surface, but I finally have a family, and that really means something. So, is Sam Tutorial a thing yet, or no? Not as far as I know. But I'll ask them anyway. <laughs> oh, hey kid. How's the whole block thing going? Pretty good. One of the questions I got is about you, so I thought I'd ask you about it before jumping to any conclusions. Sure, what's the question? You gotta promise you'll give me a truthful answer. Why? Because. Please? Sheesh, kid. What kind of questions are you getting on that blog? It's only been up a couple days. Okay, sure, I'll bite. I promise to give a truthful answer to your ominous question. So, my mom. Would you kiss her and do gross mushy stuff with her if you knew she was down? Uh. Uh. Note to soul. Stop making irresponsible promises. How's a volatile houseplant? Flowey. So, I seen you taking Flowey with you. That must be, um, an interesting living situation. It's really not as bad as you'd think. Gee, Queens, and this place is sure I don't. Which is appropriate since nothing but garbage lives here. But you live here too, Flowey. Did I? Stutter? At least I know I'm trash. You people think you're so great. Flowey, I do not tolerate anyone using profanity in front of my child. Sorry. 
Flowey may not be able to feel love, but I think there's more of Azriel in him than the, he pretends there is. I see glimpses of it sometimes. And I didn't bend time and space to save only most of the monsters. I'll find a way to help him love again. I'm determined to save him. Our mom's pretty intimidating, huh? <laughs> Careful, bro. Mom might get out the soap next time. Call me for when I'll strangle you in your sleep. Nobody else knows the truth about Flowey. They only know that he's a flower that Alphys injected with determination, and that he did a lot of bad things, and that I want to help him. But someday, I'll have to tell them the truth. They deserve to know. How's Alphys and Undyne doing? How are both Undyne and Alphys on the surface? Has their relationship deepened since we last saw them? I presume Alphys and Undyne are a thing. Also, are they weebs? Undyne and Alphys are absolutely a thing. I like to think I helped in some small way. Normally I'd go and directly ask them some questions, but I can't right now because they're on vacation in Japan. But I'm pretty confident when I say they're closer than ever. Does Undyne still believe anime is real? Speaking of anime, has Alphys ever seen Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? I actually told Undyne the truth about anime. She took it as well as I could have hoped. She was really excited about the Japan trip once she learned that's where anime is made. As for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, most of the anime that Alphys had in the underground was really old, so they have a lot to catch up on. Any anime that wasn't made in the 90s or earlier is probably one they haven't seen yet. But I've seen Jojo, and I recommended it to them a while ago. Oh, does Metaton live with you? No, he has his own house nearby, but he hasn't been home because he's on tour right now. That's why Undyne and Alphys are in Japan, actually. He gave them an all-expensive paid trip so that they could see him in concert there. He actually offered for us all to go, but I have school and the others have jobs. Jobs that don't give paid vacations. Do any of you share a room? Flowey and I share a room. He kind of just lives in his flower pot on a table in front of the window so he can see outside and photosynthesize and stuff. Undyne and Alphys also share a room, for... Obvious reasons. Have you tried asking Toriel the same thing, referring to the Sans and Toriel date question? I tried a similar strategy with my mom to learn her true thoughts and feelings. Things like this are tricky. People often hide their feelings, even from themselves. So the best way to learn the truth is to catch them off guard and carefully watch their body language. Hey mom, did you know that Sans thinks you're hot? The new Sans, she's down. <laughs>